So do you like being in a grim world like that? I mean, for sure, you don't smile much in the series. That's for sure. <laughs> No, no, Geralt doesn't smile much, uh, not, not in the show, and, and when he does, even in the books, it's, um, it's called a hideous smile. <laughs> and, uh, and um, yeah, it's not, the world, I mean, I say grim, there is a real grimness to it, but there are moments of light and moments of care and loving and strong familial bonds for people who aren't actually family. Mm. And those moments seem all the brighter for for the, the seeming darkness in the world surrounding. So let's go back to this hideous smile. Like, did you think they were gonna to come to you with like these really bad dentures or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, this, this, is a, this has been um, up for much discussion online, uh, especially after I got cast, there was a lot of people saying, it says he's hideous or it says it, it, it's, a, it's an ugly smile. I, I don't know what the direct translation is from Polish, but uh, it's, it's one of those things where I always saw it, not necessarily as the person being hideous, but as the intent with the smile or the uh, uh, what the smile was. There was something that the smile was trying to achieve that it that struck horror or, or made someone feel a certain way. And so that was that was the kind of thing which I was expecting to play around with. And I, I, I would have hoped they wouldn't have just given me a... <laughs> a big set of dentures and stuff that may have been a bit more distracting than a wig and, and contact lenses. Well, that's my next question. The wig, the long wig. Yes. Comfortable, uncomfortable. Um, I imagine it's not so comfortable because it just gets hot and it's just, it's a wig. Um, it's honestly wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Jackie Rathor, who is my hairdresser, he was, um, I've worked with on a couple of jobs now and I'm now working on season two with as well, uh, she is absolutely fantastic. And uh, the wig, which she didn't have the opportunity to actually build the wig herself. Or, and so when she received it, she started doing work on it. And she worked and worked and worked it. And it was um, a, quite a difficult process. She took that home every night. And there was three of them. So she would take three of them home every night and be changing individual hairs. Um, she set them back to get lace changed for a finer lace. Um, so it was less visible and she just worked and worked and worked that thing. She was having nightmares about the wigs and, and um, I am enormously appreciative for her hard work because there are points where it's uncomfortable. The the, the, okay. The only point that's uncomfortable really is when you're first putting it on. And it was almost a joke between Jackie and I that she was deliberately stabbing me in the head and pretending that she wasn't doing it deliberately with the pins. Um, at least I hope it was a joke. And, and uh, yeah, it was after that, it's on though. Once it's on, it's on and it's just there. And um, the only thing which is uncomfortable is when people laugh at you for, for brushing your hair back like a boy because it's not real hair, so it doesn't feel normal. So you just kind of have to brush it with a, a gloved hand and it looks a little silly. But, but uh, that's the only thing. <laughs>